The basic network is comprised of at least two or more hosts connected together, typically using some type of segmentation device, but this is not a segmentation device. This is a hub. This is an icon for a hub which just connects network segments together. If this is Bob and this is Sally, how will they communicate? If you've read my chapter one or will read my chapter one, you'll see that I use the Bob and Sally analogy and how they communicate. The first thing that has to happen is name resolution. For example, if Bob types from his command prompt, Talnet Sally, the first thing that has to happen is name resolution. Now this is going to occur by either DNS, so that's the typical way that happens today, or through what's called a host table that's built on each host. So that's not going to happen too often today. Now, Bob now has Sally's IP address, or what we're going to call a logical address. Because when I say IP address, throughout this course, we're going to mean IP version 4 until we get to section 13 or module 13 where we talk about IP version 6. Don't get stressed out. It's not that hard. But let's stick with IP version 4 for a long time for the next 12 modules. Anyway, so Bob has now resolved Sally's IP address and says, okay, I'm telling it to Sally. Her IP address is 1.1.1.1 or whatever it is. And for him to be able to communicate on the LAN, now this is an Ethernet network. If we're using a hub or even a switch, as we'll find out, this is called a LAN, local area network. And for us to communicate on the LAN, we cannot use logical addressing as an IP. We must convert the IP addresses or resolve them to a MAC address or hardware address. These are burned into each NIC card from the manufacturer. Now, you can override these, but typically we won't do that. So we'll typically use the hardware addresses that, we come, that come with each PC when they come from the manufacturer. So now, how do we resolve the IP address to hardware address so I can communicate to Sally? Well, we're going to learn about that in Chapter 2, but just for the answer for now, it's called ARP or Address Resolution Protocol. So Bob now has Sally's IP address. He has her MAC address. Now he can communicate to Sally using this information. Now, this hub is just a multi-port port repeater. It is not a switch. In other words, that we don't look at hardware addresses. We don't look at IP addresses. We just look at digital signaling. The basic inner network is comprised of two or more LANs connected together using a router. This is a router icon. The router is what uses logical addresses, and we must understand the different logical addresses, and this is how we perform routing. So in Module 6, we're going to talk about IP routing, and that is a basic fundamentals for the CCNA objectives. Remember that this is a routing and switching course, or routing and switching objectives. So our routing understanding of routing and switching is complete fundamentals that you must know. So taking a look back here, for Bob to talk to Joe over here, his MAC address is not important. He must only know his logical address. So Bob says Telnet Joe, which is this host over here. The, the name is resolved to an IP address. Now, how do we get over here? We still must use the hardware address to communicate on this LAN. So by looking at this picture, can we figure out what hardware address we use to get to Joe? Some of you already might know. If not, we use the hardware address of the default gateway or the router here, and we send it here. This is basic IP routing, and when we do this, this is called an internetwork.